Being able to do separation health physicals is a win for the National Guard because we are able to ensure that the readiness of our airmen and soldiers are first and foremost, and, and we can ensure that these assessments are being done and that we can capture any deficiencies that we might have and deal with them up front. This is a policy that we've been working on with OSD Health Affairs since last summer. It was a letter signed by General Hokinson requesting us to have the ability to conduct separation health assessments. And so we have 90 days post when you are coming off of orders to be able to get this accomplished. What we're gonna do is you're gonna sit down with a provider, you're gonna fill out a questionnaire that asks you questions about your health and depending on how you respond to it, will direct the way the provider would deem the best way to do a separation health physical on you. And what I would say uh, to soldiers and airmen is if there is a medical challenge going on in your life, it's very important that you do this so that we can document it, we can look into it and we can explore it and hopefully try to resolve it. You know, it's just normal day-to-day -day things can happen in a person's life. This is a way for us to be able to document it and for it to live in their medical record it's also a way to justify and signify that the part-time force, the reserve component, in our case, the National Guard, have been doing a heavy lift for our nation. What it's all about is people and the readiness of our force. And if we can do it locally, we can take care of it locally, and we can return an airman or soldier back to a duty status if they have some sort of medical condition that would prevent them otherwise. And so I'm, I'm very hopeful that this will be the beginning of, of other policy changes for us for, from a medical readiness perspective in the National Guard.